Oh, oh good grease. Oh, well, that was, um, that was fun. I mean, I had an audition, you know, and I had to, uh, uh, I was told I had to dress and look the part. That was very important. And um, so it was 50s, you know, and I had a general idea about the character that she was an aspiring beautician, so I figured, and I've got pretty straight hair, so I thought, I better go, you know, get a do and really uh, make myself look like I was someone who knew what they were doing with their hair. And believe it or not, I'm driving, and I had been in L.A. Uh, a year at least at that time, maybe a little more, and I had never seen this beauty parlor, Frenchie's. And I went in there, there was Frenchie, and she had a great do. And I didn't tell her I was auditioning for a part called Frenchie. I thought, this is just too cool. I want to talk to her and find out about why she's a beautician and kind of use her as a role model, literally. And she gave me great do. And then I went to Western Costumes, and I got you know, like hot pants, it was tight pants, and a, actually a sweater very similar to this with a little kerchief. And then I went to Paramount to pick up my script, and they had left an envelope for me. It was so skinny. I said, what, what is this? I opened up. It just was, you know, men are rats. Worse than that, the fleas are. I said, what does this mean? And I didn't know the, the play well enough to know what it meant. And I said, uh, I'm supposed to pick up a script. They said, well, these are your sides, you know, which just mean you're, that what you're going to read at the audition. And I saw on the booth, in the booth, there was uh, like a desk, you know, really not a desk, table, high table that the guard set up, looks at you. I said, eh, those are he kind of hefty looking, you know, fat manila envelopes. You think there's a whole script in one of those? And he said, well, maybe. And he looked and I saw that grease. And meanwhile, I said, lady, you got to move your car. There was a whole lineup. He said, pull over there. And I came back to the booth and he sure enough, he had it. And I just like went right onto his desk and took it and read it. I mean, I, it's so interesting to think about when you're just so clear about what you want. Why not? You know, and like he's like looking at me, what's going on down there? But it was really good because then I knew that that Rizzo was a better role than mine. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> what happened? You know, why she was, what she was comforting Sandy and what had happened. I didn't know all that stuff because that's not in the, in the play anyway. And I had seen the play a couple of years before. So it was very, very helpful. I read it, gave it back to him, and went in an audition. Then there were callbacks, and the callbacks were like hundreds of people and teaching us dance moves. And, uh, and I kept getting it wrong, and it turned out that brought attention to me, and they liked that. And in the movie, I get it wrong, too. The big dance, everybody's moving this way. I'm, Duty and I are moving this way. And so you never know. I think the big lesson is just... Be yourself, you know, and, and if that's going to shine, and they're either going to buy it or they're not, you know.